Good afternoon Year 6, Mrs Pratt here again with your second science lesson of the week. So today it's Thursday the 28th of January 2021 and our title for Can I title it is Can I identify the effects different foods have on my body? So just give you a chance as you would in class to write the date and title. If you need some extra time please pause the video to do this at this point. So moving on, our key question today is why do you need a balanced diet? And for this lesson you just need one resource um, and that is the balanced place itself the, um, that you've been emailed last night um, and around each section there are some boxes for you to fill in some information as I go through the presentation. Um, the boxes aren't that large so Please use the space around it to add additional notes and try and keep it as neat as possible as you would be expected to present your work in class. If you need to now, just pause the video so you can um, make sure you have this in front of you so that you can fill it in as we talk. If you haven't had access to a printer, if you just draw the plate in the basic form, don't worry about the, the details of what's included in each, se each section and just create the diagram as shown on the board with the various titles for each group. Okay, so these are your two challenges today. If you've been set some pink challenges today, you have been given some labels to cut and stick onto the various food groups as I go through the presentation. So that will be your task. For those in yellow group and green group normally, or those who just want to do the challenge today, um, you are going to add the food functions onto each food group as I go through the information that I give you. And for a harder, well, the hardest challenge, because there's only two today, um, you need to add into your notes scenarios where the particular foods may be important for a particular person. So, why would this food be particularly good for perhaps an athlete or a young child? And you need to put, include that as you make your notes. So just get yourself prepared and ready. You need a pencil and you need your information sheet to collect your information. So foods and drinks contain, contain different substances that are needed for our health. These are nutrients, water and fibre. So in the fruits and vegetables section, these, the, this food group provides us with a range of vitamins and fibre. And vitamins are really needed for generally for general good health. So some jobs vitamins have are vitamin A is needed for night vision and vitamin C is needed for maintenance of healthy skin. So in your function box, you need to summarise that information. I won't do this for each one, but just to give you the idea. So in this box here, you would say that the function of it is for health. It gives you vitamins um, and minerals that are needed for your health, to keep you healthy in your diet. You might add what the different vitamins help you to. Okay, moving on to the next section of your form. So potatoes, bread, rice, pasta and other starchy carbohydrates. This group is the main, uh, main source of the carbohydrates. So we've talked about that word quite a few times. And a carbohydrate is the main source of energy for your body. So these foods will provide you with energy and it's long lasting energy rather than the quick burst of energy that is given you by other foods. So it gives you a source of energy for your body. Um, beans, pulses, fish, egg, meat and other proteins, these, uh, these food group provides proteins as well as minerals and protein is needed for growth to help you grow and to repair cells within your body. Um, one mineral needed is called iron and it is needed for healthy blood and helping to transport energy around the body and that's something this group can provide you. Remember, you can pause the video at any time to take down the notes that you need in for your sheet that you are completing. 
So dairy and other alternatives, this group provides a range of minerals and calcium is one of the minerals which is needed for growth and the maintenance of strong bones and teeth. So this is, provides an important part of making up our diet and helping us to be strong, and our bones to be strong. Oils and spreads. Well, oils and spreads are types of fat, and fat is needed for health and energy, but in small amounts, as it's one of the smallest of the food balance plate. So you do need these for, for your health and for giving you energy. Now, one thing that's not on our balance plate is foods that are high in fat, salt and sugars, and the Eat Well Guide in it includes another group of foods that sits outside the main image and this group group is the foods high in those things fat salt and sugars and these foods as we discussed in the last session are not needed in your diet and if they are included they should only be eaten infrequently in a small amounts but they do give you a burst of energy the downside of these is they will give you a burst of energy for a couple of moments and they will not be long lasting energy as the energy that's given to you through the carbohydrate group. Uh, fibre um, is found in our diet in various uh, groups within the balance plate so you might want to go back to your diagram now and start slotting in where fibre um, appears in the different groups. Now fibre is important, it helps keep the digestive system healthy and it can be found in the food, fruit and vegetable food group, the potatoes, bread, rice, pasta and other starchy carbohydrates food groups and in the beans, pulses, fish, egg and meat food group. So you will be able to, you provide your body with fibre and that is very much needed in your digestive system to keep that healthy and running smoothly. So so that may be now added onto your diagram. So we need water to stay alive and water is found in food and in drinks. So in addition to any water provided in the food we eat, such as fruits and vegetables, we also need to, to drink at least six to eight drinks every day. And more when we're active or the weather is warmer. Okay, so here are some of the answers to the information that you were gathering from the slides that we've just looked at. Um, so you can see where the various uh, functions will be placed for the different food groups that you've got. So just have a look along these um, and you can obviously mark your own work, um, checking that you're on the right lines and add to the food groups. Um, some functions that you may have missed off. Um, just be aware that each food group doesn't just provide us with one thing for our diet, for our, for our bodies. It, it has some various functions. Um, as you can see from even the fruit and vegetable section, we get our vitamins and minerals to keep us healthy, but also it provides us fibre for a healthy digestive system too. So there's not just one function of each group. So when you've had a chance to look through that, and obviously you'll be sending it into your teacher as well, you can have a mark of that. Pause the video if you need extra time. So moving on here, um, a balanced diet needs means that we need to eat a range of different foods and the right amount of different food types. So your job here is to fill in the missing blank sections with the words that are in blue. Um, so that we can see that you understand where, why we need protein, carbohydrates, fats, fruits and vegetables and fibre within our diet. So have a go at that, pause the video now for you to have a go. But I'm just going to link up the words to where they belong so that you can mark the work you have done. So protein we need to eat for um, growth, so I'm just going to link that up there. Carbohydrates um, give us energy and fats also give us energy. They give us a short, short burst of energy whereas the carbohydrates, starch carbohydrates, I um, apologise, give us a longer a burst of a, a longer energy um, source that we can keep going for longer in the day. Fruit and vegetables are for our health 
and the fibre that's in various food groups are, is there for giving us a healthy digestive system and healthy bowels. So hopefully you match those up correctly, filled in the missing gaps. So just the last thing, um, D is six, I'm having real problems with my family's diet and this is the, the problems that this, this family is having. And you just need to make a suggestion as to which foods source would be best from the which food groups in order to help the problems that they are facing. So Blake loves football, but often falls over and scrapes his skin. What food would be a good um, support in maintaining um, to be able to repair his cells? And you might need to go back and have a look through your notes to find out which food group and which food source might help Blake. So baby Jack is growing up fast, he needs lots of uh, food to encourage his growth, but what's the best food group to provide this for Jack? And Alice likes meeting with her friends but hates getting spots. So which food group do you suggest or food source do you suggest she, she uses more of in order to help keep her skin healthy? Okay, pause the video and have a go. Okay, here's some possible answers that you may have given as advice to these people. So, um, Blake will need some protein to repair, to be a providing repairing cells within his body when he falls over and scrapes his skin. And this is provided by beans and pulses and meat and fish and that section, which is all provides protein into our diet. Um, Baby Jack is growing up fast, so dairy or other alternatives will provide Jack with the calcium, which is a mineral which is needed for growth and maintenance of strong bones and teeth. There'll be lots of other things that he needs in his diet as well to help him grow and to keep him healthy along the way, but that's one of the suggested things that Jack will need. Fruits and vegetables are going to be important for Alice. They will provide her with minerals and vitamin C is needed for the maintenance of healthy skin. Um, so that will be important for her as well as drinking lots of water. That's so these are just some suggestions. You might have justified with some other things that they might need in their diet. Obviously they would still need a balanced diet of all the other foods um, in order to grow up healthy and balanced. Okay, that's the end of today's lesson. Um, look forward to seeing some of your um, information that you send through to your teachers. Okay, bye for now.